Hi guys and welcome back to Parser Moves and for today's episode in the amazing uh, AC Milan series we're playing against Lazio so as you can tell not going that well for us in the league I mean it's not too poor we've uh, got a game in hand to the team who are top which is Pescara of all teams that should kind of tell you how crazy this area is this season uh, just six points separating but of course if we win today that just means just three points from top but more importantly we need the three points to get into the Europa League spots and close the gap to Champions League spots that's you themselves in fourth place and uh, so it's definitely going to prove to be a bit of a difficult game anyways in terms of uh, what happened since the last episode we did show you that game against Napoli the 2-1 loss season opener uh, we drew against Genoa as well 1-1 that's a disappointing result uh, we managed to score first but unfortunately Lapadula had different plans for us and uh, second half didn't get any better but we did manage to bounce back and kind of go on a little bit of a winning uh, run. We managed to beat Sparta Prague 4-0, uh, Frozen 4-2. Uh, we're not too good at keeping clean sheets, but when we do win, we win big. So uh, kind of a testament to our tactics, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, Carlos Baca grabbing a bunch of goals there as well. We pretty, got, pretty much getting a lot of people on the score sheet. And so, as you can tell, kind of nice results. Uh, Frozen on, Verona, Beneventino, uh, Benevent. So uh, all uh, nice little 4-1 wins uh, with Silver grabbing a hat-trick there as well and uh, couldn't keep the clean sheet even though there's just a couple minutes left for full time. Standard uh, another 4-0 win in the Europa League so we're doing uh, you know started off well but uh, we hope to try and uh, potentially win the Europa League so it can get us into Champions League if we don't get it through the league itself. Uh, Torino though ended our nice little winning run there it was kind of disappointing but uh, Really, we had the chances. We never failed to create chances. Our problem is actually uh, not uh, conceding. And Alex uh, Berenga there uh, scoring for Torino in the 53rd minute in the second half after the first half that was quite tight. But anyways, we're going to try and bounce back today against Lazio. So hope, let's hope we can do that. Uh, it's going to be a very important result. I pretty much kept everything the same. And this is the team we're going to be going with. The only change I've made is uh, going to a team shape of structure that I feel like it helps us defensively a bit more and uh, just suits our team a hint more as well. So let's hope uh, we can see some uh, plenty of goals basically but all in our favour. I don't mind if we can see as long as we win the game in the end of the day um, but I'm hoping for a more defensively solid game overall. And uh, we've got Conti, Bonici, Romanoli, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez in defence. It's kind of a first choice uh, starting back line. Uh, we've also got first choice midfielders in Lucas and Frank Kessi. Uh, Burini's playing instead of uh, Suso, who's uh, not had the best of game last time out. Uh, Bonaventura coming in as well, uh, our first teamer. Uh, Andre Silva, first teamer as well. Nicola uh, giving, gotten the nod ahead of Carlos Barca, despite having uh, been in good form. He wasn't too good last game and Nicola kind of saved us that time so I'm giving him the nod just to see whether he can uh, try and prove his worth uh, some more in a very important game today. So let's see what happens. But mostly a uh, starting 11 team. So uh, should be enough to beat Lazio. But we are away from home. You'd expect Lazio to be the favourites for today's game. But uh, we are AC Milan. We should always try and win there. So that's uh, exactly what we're going to try and do. Very attacking lineup as always because we are playing direct. And of course just to try and suit our players our front four very dangerous i'm hoping my back line and my two central midfielder well one central midfielder one defensive midfielder can try and keep things nice and tight uh, in that area as well um but yeah very defensive lineup you'd ha you have to say from lazio they've got a three-man back line they've got wing backs they've got defensive midfielder and lucas lever and uh, still got enough uh, attacking intent in the two strikers there so you're gonna kind of expect them to try and hit us on the counter attack they're definitely gonna have the man advantage in central midfield but with two strikers and two highly pushed up wingers uh, we can potentially uh, cause some serious damage to this lineup as well over here this back line and uh, the, even the wing backs as well potentially exploit the spaces in behind that they leave uh, for our for the wingers so let's try and uh, do that to the best of our advantage or best of our ability really so uh, not favorites like i mentioned so let's go for the lazio revenge team talk it's normally the one that tends to work, uh, try and inspire my players into a result and uh, let's go extended highlights, normal speeds and let's try and show goal replays and let's get into it. Alright then, uh, Lazio in blue of course and uh, yeah we're going to have to put in one hell of a performance to beat this uh, very decent Lazio side. I think. Uh, they're managed by uh, Insigne, if I'm not f no, uh, Inzaghi, sorry, uh, 
if I'm not mistaken. I'll have a look at that in just a moment, but uh, decent start here. Nikola heads down to Silva. What's he going to do? Spreads out wide to Conti. If he can deliver from deep like we ask him to. Instead, it's a poor through ball to Brini. That's the end of that attack. Uh, he had a couple of people in the box there if he wanted to. But yeah, Nzari was rated the uh, Serie A uh, manager of the year last season, if I'm not mistaken. So he's definitely doing a really good job with Lazio. Getting into Champions League spots this year around as well. And, uh, you know... We have to try and put in a halt or an end to that uh, more specifically. But anyways, set piece. Can we score from a corner? We've set up our defenders well, pretty much everyone in the box. Um, headed clear initially, but we can still make a mental and get a better delivery if Lucas can get to the ball a bit quicker than he is. Spreads it to Bonucci. Closed down by two Lazio players. Goes back to Conti. Don't mess about. He messes about. That's exactly what it does. And Lucas Leva wins the ball high up the pitch. Felipe Anderson. They're going to hit us on the counter like we mentioned. This is a poor way to concede the goal. And thankfully, we don't have to. But uh, just dwelling on the ball. And considering we're playing more direct. And, you know, it tends to be a bit of a high tempo tactic. We're playing on control as well. The players shouldn't try and hold on to the ball the way they were doing there. Early stages seems to suggest we've had a hint better of a start than they have. It's only been 10 minutes, but the possession is in our favour as well. Shots count. Nothing on target though, so we might have to work the ball into the box a bit more. I'm going to tell my players to do exactly that as well as uh, look for the overlap because we need to take advantage of those single wide men and wing backs of Lazio's. Um, but here comes Kessie. Poor shot. So let's make that change now. Look for the overlap. Work the ball into the box. And see if that can help us a bit more because we don't really want those long shots. I mean, Kessie has a tendency to do it because it's in his player rates, uh, player traits. But we want to try and uh, limit that a bit more. We can definitely tell him individually not to do it, but um, I think in general we kind of have to break down this Lazio side since they're trying to play on the counter. Silva's picked up a bit of a knock as well. I'm sure you noticed a uh, lower leg injury. We'll look to substitute him at half time. We've got Cutron uh, on the bench as well as uh, Baka. Baka's probably going to be the one. Um, to come in, I suppose. Mobley. Alright. Actually, back as the advanced forward. Who's supposed to be the complete forward? They're supposed to be. I've actually made the mistake of putting on ne Nicola on the bench, on, on, as an advanced forward, and it should be Cutron, because Nicola should be the complete forward. So that's my mistake. We'll shift him over, anyways, at half time, and see whether anything can happen. Anyways. Donnarumma's goal kick. Nicola, can he head it down? That's all we need from him. Uh, doesn't even challenge for the header, but we can get the second ball through Lucas. Find, finds Bonaventura in behind the wing-back, like we mentioned, but it's not quick enough. And Nicola, don't have a long shot. Oh, decent one, to be fair to him, but he could have worked the ball into the box a hint more. Either way, Lazio survive, and uh, we're not looking too poor right now, to be honest. Going to attack and squeeze things out of them a little bit more, force them, put them under more pressure. I think we can do a bit more. Lilic, though, time on the ball. Trying to close them down, but we're not doing that great of a job, I suppose. And Mobley's come out for it. Ah, oh, spilt by the goalkeeper. And Bonucci's made a mistake. Felipe Anderson at the back post. Donnarumma saved that somehow. And uh, we're unstructured. And we've got top centre backs, top defenders. And a top goalkeeper in truth, but we're still making very amateur mistakes. I guess the shape of the team doesn't help too much, but still arguably should do better. And we should have done better there as well. Immobile getting the first goal for Lazio. We're going to get a nice little 3D replay of it as much as I don't want to see it. But you have to say, not good defending at all from the set piece especially. Headed clear, Alessio does his job, but uh, it's here where we don't really necessarily do ours. Felipe Anderson with time to deliver, and Immobile is completely free of these two men here. He's doing his job. Everyone's, some players are trying to get out, some players are trying to get back on, into where they're supposed to be. And uh, can't fault the goalkeeper for that, but we definitely need to step it up. That's you on the ball again. Immobile, the goal scorer, Lulic. Square to Sergei. Really good tackle there from Kessie. But Mobile is free in the box again. And this time it is offside. But warning signs are there still. Maybe we do need to adjust our shape. Maybe two defensive midfielders since we're playing so up the pitch, I suppose. But uh, it will be. 
Having Kessie, who's not comfortable in defensive midfield. I mean, he's natural there, but that's not his best role. Segundo Valante, we can't do that with two DMs. Roaming playmakers, perhaps our best bet. Registar's not a bad one. Ball winning midfielder. Definitely do a good job as that. He's got really good dribbling though. I'd love to see him play as a roaming playmaker. We need a, a dribbler anyway. So let's just drop him into midfield, see how that helps. Because uh, even that's structured, we don't look too defensively solid. I guess our front four is really, you know, costing us. Um, trying to play asymmetric so we can throw a man forward just to help us that bit more. But, uh, you know, if need be, we might have to drop our players into defensive midfield, or Kessie specifically into defensive midfield as well. We can throw them forward later on in the game if need be too, but uh, yeah. Chance to make it 1-1 before half time. Delivery is kind of poor, but Pet Kessie with the second ball. Nicola from outside the box. About two players there who could have tapped it in. I'm not sure if they were offside or not, but they should definitely have tried at least. And there's another highlight again. What can we do this time? Initial header, but Nicola can't win it. Lucas to Skubic. Lulic, free again. Through to Immobile, but we're there to pick up pieces. Bonucci. Decent ball from the goalkeeper, Donnarumma, Silva. Can't win that header either. If our strikers can't win their headers, then we can't really get out of our own box. We're playing direct. They need to be a bit better. Lulic, Felipe Anderson. Oh, good tackle, but still, if Anderson gets then he finishes. I mean, I can't believe the kind of lapses we're having in defence. It's absolutely ridiculous and should not be happening. Doing everything we can do to shut this team down. I mean, look at this. Closed so well down by Barini, but no one else reacts. I mean, that can't be tactical, surely. Anyways, 2-0. And I think we can definitely do better in the second half. We're going to have to step it up. Alright, half time. Time to tell the players off, basically. Alright then, we haven't necessarily created too many chances either. We initially looked like we were going to cause some serious damage. Let's bring on uh, Baka. And hope to see a better second half for my players. Look for overlap hasn't necessarily helped us as quickly shift things around. Be a bit more risk taking basically, not not so patient. We can't afford to be patient anymore. We're 2 0 down. Just trying to encourage our players to take the risks that they need to take. Donorama forward to Rodriguez. Free, he's got time, but he plays it straight to Bonaventura. The kind of direct play that we like to see, but that pass there from Bonaventura, very poor. Switch formations as well, uh, Lazio. So it looks like they weren't too pleased with their first half despite being 2 0 up. Could be trying to contain us in a way as well, but uh, no hints of a second half improvement. Alright. No excuses from you. Is this an actual highlight or is it just because I'm making tactical changes? Either way, pass into space seems to have let us ma has made us more risk taking, but also a bit more stupid. Borini through Baka, you should be finishing this all day. He's onside. Bring us back in. He can't. He's hit the post. That is as poor as it gets from Baka. Time to make some more substitutions. Kessie's tired. Let's bring on. Oh god, I forgot his backup is injured, isn't he? Locatelli's there, so let's bring on Locatelli and switch him into a roaming playmaker. What else can we do? Bonaventura, Barini for Suso. Let's do that. Come on, boys. Plenty of time to turn this around if we get into it, but we're not going to do it through that. Lucas, though, still there for us. Locatelli. What can he do? Very decent ball to Baka. Heads it down to Nicola. He can't finish either. 
had more shots, but that doesn't matter to me. What matters is clear cut chances. They've had two and they converted two. We've had one and a half chance as well. But nothing to show for it so far. If we get, grab one, we could grab a second, but at the moment, we don't even deserve having one. Lucas just hits it in. I guess that's a, supposed to be a cross, but it's a poor one. And uh, their goalkeeper, Strakoshka, can uh, pick that up very easily. And we roll on. Donnarama. Look at that. Just has to head it down to someone, but we can't even do that. Lucas can't get the second ball either. Bonici. Locatelli. Lucas again. Back to Locatelli. Through to Baka. Head down to Nicola. That's the right move, and it's a hell of a shot. He shouldn't be taking it, but he does. And he finishes it too, so that's credit to him. Could have found a teammate, but uh, why find a teammate when you can take shots like that? 2-1. We're back in it. Need a second and a third in truth because the draw's not good enough. Locatelli, though. Did uh, quite decently in truth. All he has to do is win the header, and he does, and suddenly we're in. You can see all the players around Nicola making the run. So he could find them if he wanted to. He decides not to, but he could have. And uh, could have been in in that way as well. Clock ticks on, though. Got about 17 minutes to try and get something out of this game. Looks like Nicola's enjoying that complete forward support role a bit more too. Rodriguez with the throw in though. Down to Locatelli. Instrumental for the first goal. Can he help us grab a second? Not with a pass like that. And Lazio going to try and hit us on the counter again. It's that man causing us all types of trouble. Both of them. Immobile and Felipe Anderson. He cuts in. Finds Lulic free. Shut down well though, and Conte can get us going straight through to Nicola. Can he find a through ball? We've encouraged him for the pass into space. Back as free and onside apparently, but he can't finish it. And again, should be doing better. I mean, the finishing is seriously questionable at this point. Highlight continues though. Don't tell me Lazio punished us after that. Immobile. Tagliafico. Two players trying to close them down. We're playing on structured. The my players aren't supposed to actually shut them down that much. I'm not sure why. Be the way, Lulic. Mobile. Sudani's gotten in behind Conti. Thankfully, he can't finish though. I want to check. He's told to close down less, which is exactly what we want him to do. I could tell you though. No matter what I try, my team is never defensively solid. Two defensive midfielders, three centre-backs, whatever it is, we just can't seem to keep it together at the back. Succession of set-pieces so far hasn't ended in Lazio's favour. Bonaventura can clear it and let's hope that's the end of that. There you go. We need more though going to come to that time where we need to go on overall and possibly even throw forward our defensive uh, deep line playmaker Lucas who's playing on the defensive duty but we might have to switch him to support to try and get that bit more of him Bonaventura wins the ball back well and through to Baka he's free in the box can he find a teammate or finish it can't do either and again seriously quite, just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with right the game says Baka has a finishing of 17 Composure of 15. Uh, you know, pretty much anticipation as well is really good. And pretty much everything you need in the dance forward. We're playing him in his preferred mo ro role. He still can't finish chances that he should be eating up. And for some reason, his rating's still 6.8. So, I mean, you know, don't ask me. Anyways, goal kick. We can win it for, through Rodriguez. And Bonaventura can get us going. Back at again. Free. The pass into space is really working in our favour. Is he going to square it this time? Nope, it's a penalty instead. And it is Carlos Baka was going to take it. I'm pretty sure I have my set, my uh, penalty taking player set. So if Baka is the one to take it, it should be the best one on the pitch. Yellow card for Bastos, but uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is whether Baka can convert this, having not converted all day long. He has the easiest chance to save the game for us. Oh, thank God. The goalkeeper guessed the right way, but just luckily Baka kind of puts it uncomfortably down the middle I suppose the goalkeeper guessed all the way to the right he didn't guess just a little bit to the right it's worked for us either way let's have a look at this 
That goalkeeper should really save that in truth. I'd be furious if that was my player. Anyways, uh, I know it's 2-2 two -two and maybe we should try and settle for the result. But I'm trying to get all three points here. Uh, we're, we've put them under serious pressure. So I want to keep that up. So we're going into overload. We're playing uh, him on support. And we're going to ask my players to take more risks. Just to squeeze out that bit more from my players. Immediate highlight after that tactical tweak. So let's see what ha what that means for the game. Boga through to Immobile. Closed down really well, but Lulic can pick up the pieces. Uh, Rodriguez should have this in truth, but Felipe Anderson somehow beats him and uh, thankfully hits her out. But again, my fullbacks, questionable, very questionable defending from the overall team as well. Lucas with the set piece though. Nicolas there should be finished. Yes, that's all I needed. Suso with the complete comeback turnaround. And this is where we absolutely kill the game off. Alright then. Um, yeah, let's just keep him as a roaming playmaker. He's still... Yeah. Uh, maybe Mark Titer is the problem. I'll, I'll have a look at that tactical tweak later on. But uh, contain. Let's uh, take a breather. Play even safer. Let's... Uh, Kinda, let's clear the ball to the flanks so it's as far away from us as possible. Hitting them on the counter is still an option, so I don't want to, you know, ask them to dribble less or not shoot on sight or anything like that. So, but we do want to stick to positions, be more disciplined. I actually think I will ask Lot Locatelli to not mark tighter, just tackle harder, and that's it. All right, we're gonna get a beautiful view of this in 3D, but I'm glad to see a set piece work in our favour and Suso off the bench grabbing the winner for us hopefully the winner still seven minutes plus injury time can we hold on Lucas with the delivery that wasn't too great but it's not cleared well Nicola can head it down actually uh, and Suso that's why we want our uh, wingers on this yes I've, I've literally just altered the tactics myself now see what the game does is show you a ton of highlights just before the match is over to try and you know force you into making an error Tactically, but uh, we're gonna try and keep our nerves here. Susa though, Conti keeping the ball well. Let's not lose it. Locatelli, no risks. Dribbles and plays it forward to Nicola. It's pretty much just uh, him and uh, Baka there. Bonaventura is through though. Can you find him? Uh, it's gonna have to be a better ball than that. And Strakoska or Strakosha can uh, try and get his team going. But first ball won by Alessio. And uh, look at this. Let me just show you an example. So Alessio's gone forward. His man who's trying to cover him, number 19, I'm not even sure who that is, can I, why can't I select and see, Bonucci is the one who's trying to cover him. But again, when my players cover, they just don't do that great of a job. Team shape all over the place, that's your throwing everyone forward, and uh, amounts to nothing. We've still got two strikers high up the pitch, Nicola, can he head it down? That's all we need him to do, can't do that though, and uh, Lulic can try and get his team Lazio on the way again, Sudani. Big switch to Felipe Anderson. He's deep though, and that's where we want to keep him. Forward to Mobley. Can't win the header, thankfully. And Suso to Nicola. Can he find a through ball? Tries it, but it's not good enough. Uh, we're trying to stop that risky passing, but he's still taking it. Can't uh, can't blame him, of course, but uh, we want him to be a bit wise in his decision making. Immobile is somehow freeing the box, even though there's players all around him. Bonucci just long balls it to Baka if he can win it. Ah, Tonelli, good defending. Bastos, come on Bonvochura, that's your fullback there. Lucas, Boga. End to end. Nicola, better through ball this time. Nope, squares it to Suso. Probably the smarter thing to do. Can he find his uh, overlapping fullback? He goes to Nicola instead. Keep the ball. Back as there. Suso, doing well with possession in truth, but still a bit hint risky for my liking. Locatelli. Suso, find your fullback. Finally to Conti. Can he deliver the cross? Ah, oh, very good one, but Strakoska. Stra, Strakosha. Don't know why I keep saying it like that, but it uh, does well there because Bonaventure was going to convert that all day long. Look at the difference in our front four once we made those substitutions and the tactical tweaks, of course. Um, but much better display in the second half. Managed to completely turn it around. And we need to hold on for just four more minutes. Come on then. Ugh. 
was hoping from the highlights until the last minute, but Strakosha tries to get Lazio going again. Alessio with initial header, Suso back to Bonucci, good ball. Back all the way to Donnarama, we just want them to clear the ball to flank so I can be asked. so shouldn't lose the ball from this position. Rodriguez, Bonaventura, up to Baca, you just have to keep it now. Suso, overlap by Conti, he goes back to Bonaventura though, we lose it, and can be hit on the counter-attack, it's 3v3 or even 3v2. We need to get our players back in into position. Sudani's found Boga. Donnarama's dealt with that. But that is not nice to see. Thinking about changing Conti into full back on support, but uh, seem to be doing enough to keep Lazio at bay. Nicola, head down to Baka. We're through. Come on, you have to finish the. Oh my god. Before I can even finish the sentence, he's taking a shot and putting it basically to the corner flag. I'm going to assume that was tactical somehow. Baka again with a strange decision making. Bastos is there for his team. Square to Taglifico. And it's in behind Conti for Sudani. Come on, it's a loose first touch. We should be on that. Lucas Lever for his team. Take those long shots all day you want. Lucas, I would not mind that. Donnarumma though. And this should be the end of that. It's 10 seconds. And I'm hoping the referee blows it early. Seem to be a hint better defensively with the uh, getting rid of the Mark Tight instruction. Not sure if it's that or the two defensive midfielders and the contain tactics. But either way, we come away with all three points. Hugely important win considering we're 2 0 down at half time. That was one hell of a turnaround. And we weren't even favourites for the game. So thank God that worked out in our favour. Anyways, need uh, less uh, heart attack inducing performances in the future. See what that means to the league. I think the game said it moves us into uh, fifth place, the Europa League spots, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, there you go, fifth place, 13 points. Just three off top, so as bad as fifth looks, we're not far away. We just have to keep picking up the points as much as possible. Uh, the losses that we were dealt with, I would argue, weren't losses that we necessarily deserved. The draw we kind of did, the wins we got 100% in our favour. Uh, and yeah, we I think we created enough against Lazio. Let me have a look at the chances created after. So they still had four, but we had three. So we upped ours by two. They couldn't convert theirs. We converted apparently all three clear clock chances and uh, there's four half chances there as well. But anyways, not bad at all. Uh, definitely need to sort something out defensively, but attacking wise, we're uh, basically killing it. Let's have a look at... Um, goals in our favour so we've scored who's the best scoring Lazio and we've uh, scored 17 ourselves who's the best defensive team Torini and uh, we are the Ish. this is really far down the table so attacking wise we're really good defensively not too good kind of expected with the tactics we're playing but we do uh, want to improve that aspect of our game so we're going to try and uh, do everything we can to change that in our favour but anyways a win is a win and that is the win or the fixture of October so have a look at November and see what game we really want to show. So these games are on in October, they don't really matter too much. We're going to go from Inter to Sparta Prague, and you have to pretty much just put it down as Inter. So we'll be back for that Inter game. If you did enjoy today's episode, and of course, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Daily Football Manager 2018 content. And of course, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, as always, guys, thank you all very much for watching.